Hi everyone, this is Alex on Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here is the news from the first week of August. Kakao's Kim Bom Su surpasses Lee Jae Yong and becomes the richest man in South Korea. The news media outlet Bloomberg reported on July 29th local time that Kakao founder Kim Bom Su, 55 years of age, overcame Samsung Electronics vice chairman Lee Jae Yong to become the richest person in Korea. According to Bloomberg's Billionaires Index, Chairman Kim ranked first in Korea with a net worth of $13.4 billion, or about 15.4 trillion won, surpassing Vice Chairman Lee with a net worth of $12.1 billion, or about 13.9 trillion won. Bloomberg noted that Chairman Kim is a self-made entrepreneur and still knocked off Lee and other table heads who have dominated the Korean economy for decades in the ranking of the richest. Kim is well known as a dirt spoon, which comes from a Korean word to designate someone born into a low-income family. He has five siblings and parents who could only afford one room for the entire family. Kakao had expanded its business beyond mobile messaging platforms to payment, finance, games, and a taxi call service, and has significantly increased its share price last year from the explosive growth and demand for non-face-to-face -face services due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Kakao's market capitalization is the fourth largest among companies listed on the Korean stock market. Bloomberg analyzed that the massive increase of Chairman Kim's assets this year is driven by the investors' expectations for even more success by a series of IPOs of Kakao subsidiaries. For our next story, it is time to step back. Nexon founder Kim Jong-ju resigns as CEO of NXC. Nexon founder Kim Jong-ju is stepping down from the position of CEO of Nexon's holding company NXC after 16 years. NXC announced on July 29th that it has appointed Lee Jae-kyo, head of its brand promotion division, as the new CEO, and Alex Iosilevich from USB a multinational investment bank as the global chief investment officer, the CIO. Although Kim resigned as CEO, he will keep the positions of internal director and registered director of NXC and will participate in the company's major decision making and focus on developing future businesses and fostering talent. He said, I have served as the CEO of NXC for 16 years and now I have decided that it is time to pass it on to the next person. The newly appointed Lee has a strong understanding of the history and DNA of Nexon Company. She is the best person to carry out various decision-making and management activities of NXC. After joining Nexon in 1998, Lee served as the PR director and transferred to the holding company NXC in 2012. She has been leading the social contribution and communication fields ever since. CIO Iosilovich served as an investment advisor for NXC and Nexon's global business for over 10 years and contributed to Nexon's listing on the Tokyo Stock Exchange in 2011. For our third story, the battle to take over K-Webtoon, Kakao's declaration of war on the global number one neighbor. Naver and Kakao are competing to take over the Webtoon market. On August 1st, Kakao launched Kakao Webtoon, an expanded and reorganized version of Down Webtoon, and entered the global market in full force. Naver's strategy is to solidify its number one position in the global Webtoon market through a Webtoon studio that invested 100 billion won in funds. I can't distinguish this between a cartoon and animation. This is what people are saying online who saw the Kakao Webtoon premiere website that Kakao Entertainment first showcased on July 27th. The characters in the Kakao Webtoons were shown in a form that seemed almost lifelike. Kakao Webtoon recommends user customized content in various ways such as related works, pictures, and keywords through an artificial intelligence AI recommendation function. Just by moving the screen sideways, Readers can see various contents, lineups, and also browse works simply by scrolling. 
Lee Jin Su, CEO of Kakao Entertainment, said, We are going to advance into countries around the world and all languages through Kakao Webtoon. Episodes being released for free after waiting for a while changed the Webtoon industry. Kakao Webtoon will be another industrial inflection point. Currently, Naver is leading the Webtoon market in Korea. According to the 2020 Webtoon Business Status Survey by the Korea Creative Content Agency, Naver's Webtoon page view rate reached 65.1%. Naver's share is three times higher than both that of the two next runner-ups, Kakao Page at 15.6% and Down Webtoon at 3.9%. Naver Webtoon ranks first in the number of global users as well. And for our final main story, Pangyo Hub's smooth sailing to aid in quality growth of startups. Pangyo Hub, a content business startup support center, is strengthening the network hub with prospective entrepreneurs and many more startups. It's also playing a critical role in facilitating startups by discovering killer contents, by discovering unspotted creative manpower, and establishing a system to support commercialization. According to the Gyeonggi Content Agency, on July 28th, Pangyo Hub fostered 969 startups, creating 2,485 jobs, supported 17,582 projects, and registered 171,020 users since its opening in 2014. Accordingly, it was reviewed to establish itself as the center of the startup ecosystem in Pangyo, where excellent young talents can gather. Pangyo Hub is supporting startups by focusing on increasing their sizes based on the startup ecosystem established in 2014. The main support programs include Youth Startup Smart 2030, a startup support system for young prospective entrepreneurs in the province between the ages of 15 and 39. The Public-Private Cooperation Content Startup Fostering or Gyeonggi Start Pangyo an accelerating program for discovering and fostering prospective unicorn companies in the content field, and ICT Convergence Startup Support for Overseas Expansion to diversify startups to expand overseas. In addition, a cultural startup planner, a resident and collaboration space, and investment attraction are also available. And to wrap this up, here's your quick news of the week. Isico adds Cacao Simple Payment in their unmanned stores. Isco, the company that leads the unmanned small store business market, announced on July 29th that it will apply Kakao's simple payment service wallet QR code to the digitalization business of smart stores and smart supermarkets that are being carried out together with the government. Next up, we have a convergence of innovative technology startups and professional investors. The Pangyo Startup Zone Startup 815 ends in a success. The Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation, or just the Gyeonggi Innovation Center, a startup zone operating institution, successfully completed the fourth startup, 815, on July 29th. This event was held online in accordance with the strengthening of government quarantine guidelines due to the resurgence of COVID-19. A total of eight companies and 10 investors participated. And finally, OnLab acquires OT security company Nowon Works. OnLab signed a stock purchase agreement, or SPA, on July 28th to acquire Nowon Works, a company specializing in OT security solutions at the OnLab company building in Pangyo. And that's it for your Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next time.